Captain Henry Morgan stood with his buccaneers, regaling friends and townspeople with tales of their exploits. Morgan had reached the venerable age of eight and twenty. He had sailed against the Spaniards with Commodore Mings and captured fourteen prize ships. Tall and trim, he had flashing dark eyes, a black mustache, and a pointed beard. He dressed in red jerkin and black hose, a fine hat with a feather, and russet boots. His cutlass had a silver hilt and his pistol a silver handle. Many women were in love with him, and I might have been too, a little. His voice fell so pleasingly upon the ear he could talk a thousand men into following him against the Spaniards in a leaky canoe. They never complained about the hardships, but when they came home with hay pennies and Morgan with a million in silver, then they grumbled. His hat alone would cost ten shillings. I challenged them to search me, he told the company with a big open gesture. I had nothing on me. Not even a flea, railed a drunken buccaneer. It was share and share alike. Why did you sail from Campeche before the rest of us? I was chasing the 15th ship. 15th ship, says he. What was on it? Pigs? Pigs of silver from the way they sank. A stonemason said to Morgan, Drinking, gaming, and wenching are all your trade. You should join a guild and learn a real craft. But I do belong to a guild, the benchers of the tavern. 